Hey you guys, I'm back with another video and this week I headed over to Clicks. For all my non-South African viewers, Clicks is basically our local drugstore. I wanted to see what I could pick up and do a quick review for you guys. And immediately as I was walking up, I saw there were so many press on nails. They're definitely a thing right now. Um, but that's not what I was interested in for today. When I took a closer look, I noticed that Kiss has a range of full cover tips, which was really, really cool. I don't think I've ever noticed these before. They come in a variety of shapes and sizes and when i did a google search i noticed that they have a whole range of these which was really really cool unfortunately they only had three um, at my local um, clicks they go for about 210 rand which is about 11 dollars which is not bad at all so i definitely picked these up also notice they have the um, acrylic kiss kit i've already done a review on this one here on my channel i'll leave it linked at the end of this video but for now let's get into reviewing these full cover tips from kiss so on close inspection I can see that they've indicated that you get about a hundred and also that they are a medium length. Also that they are a hundred again full cover nails and that they hold polish and nail art. I like how well they indicate that they are active square and I noticed that each and every um, set of full cover tips has its own sticker with a different color and I really like that. Um, and these again are active square. There's also this cute little peekaboo window so you can see the full cover tip and also the glue. At the bottom it indicates that it includes 10 sizes for up to 5 manicures. Now when I looked at the back of the packaging, it's got very clear um, directions. You just apply the glue onto the full cover um, tip and apply a little bit on your nail and you press it on. Very, very simple instructions. There's some warnings and other important information that you can read. There was also a pamphlet, but I didn't read. <laughs> I didn't go through that. So one thing I must mention that the packaging is really really nice, the container that the full cover tips come in is nice and strong. I like that the glue had this cute little slot at the back, I thought that was really really clever packaging. I went ahead and opened the container, I think mine got mixed up a bit. Um, which is also fine, but I noticed that they make the slot a little bit smaller for the smaller nails Which makes it a little bit hard to reach in so I had to use my tweezers to get the smaller sizes Now I've got pretty good eyesight But it was so hard to see the numbers on these nails like they printed them so so tiny Another thing I didn't like about these tips is this curve on the side. It was so deep that when you actually find the right size of your nail, it um, exposes the natural nail. So it forced me to pick a larger size, um, which is not what I wanted, but I made it work. Also, another thing I didn't like is how flimsy they were. <laughs> I know they're not meant to last long, but look at how easy it is to bend them. If you do purchase these, um, just know that they're not the best or they definitely won't be the sturdiest. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and pick my sizes for my nails. And here they are. I do want to quickly mention you guys that I'm going to be using my rubber base to attach these nails. I know that's not what these nails are made for. But I wanted to challenge myself and see if I can use my rubber base technique to attach my nails instead of using the um, glue that they provided. Now I knew one of the obstacles I was going to have is that there isn't a gap in the nail for a product like a rubber base because it's highly viscous whereas the glue is way thinner and it's just made and the tip is meant to sit directly onto the natural nail 
so I knew that was going to be a problem but you know what I wanted to challenge myself and I wanted to see if this is going to work so I'm going ahead and uh, customizing the nails like I always do getting rid of that curve on the side and also I just went ahead and filed it um, at the bottom of the nail make sure that it's fitting from side wall to side wall and around my cuticle Another thing I wanted to mention is that I loved how transparent they were because I knew then that the UV light won't struggle to penetrate through the nails. So I went ahead and customized the nails and, and as you can see I'm being very meticulous and making sure that the nail fits perfectly and then I went ahead and did the same for the rest of my nails. Now I noticed that my um, my LED flashlight ran out of batteries. That's completely fine. Um, I'm going to use my normal LED lamp, and I just tilted it to the side using some paper towel so that my hand, both my hands, can fit in at the same time. I'm going to go in with my two faves, my protein bond. I'm also going to be going in with my rubber base. Um, these are my absolute favorite products when I'm using full cover tips. I'm taking the protein bond and I'm etching the inside of the um, full cover tip. When I'm done with that, I'm scooping a little bit of the rubber base onto the nail. At this point, I was just guesstimating because there's no way of telling whether this was going to work or not. Um, and then I went ahead and attached the nail onto my natural nail at a 45 degree angle and then i started pressing down and immediately when i started doing this it just yeah the rubber base started oozing out which i expected because yeah the nails just do not have a gap for that they are just meant to be stuck straight onto the natural nail um but i went ahead and took my cleaner brush and i cleaned up the one that oozed on the sides and i went ahead and cured in my led lamp when I was done curing I noticed that on the other side of the thumb I had a little bit of a gap where the rubber base didn't get there so I'm taking my liner brush and I'm scooping a little bit of the rubber base and I'm just going to quickly shove it under there because I don't like that it is open there because I want to make sure that I've um, I just want to make sure that I have a seal all around the full cover tip so once I was done doing that, I grabbed my cleanup brush again, making sure that it's not touching my skin. Then I grabbed my tweezers, pressing it down, and then I cured in my lamp for around about 30 seconds, which worked very well. I went ahead and did exactly the same. Now let me tell you, it was a struggle and I was not going to include that because the video was just going to be too long. Um, and this is how the nails look after it was done. You know what, at this point I was pretty proud of myself that I had just managed to get them to stick using the rubber base which is really cool. Now I'm going to go ahead and customize the nails even more um, again because I had to pick bigger sizes so that they cover the circumference of my nail. I had to now really make sure that they are fitting um, to my nail and just customize them a little bit more. So I went ahead and grabbed my e-file and sharpened up that shape I also just filed down the sides after I was done with that I grabbed my buffing block just to remove the shine And I went ahead and did exactly the same steps for the rest of my nails. And this is how they turned out. 
looked a little bit shiny because I applied a coat of protein bond but I was pretty happy with how they look I have a little bit of air bubbles especially by the cuticles but that's because I applied a lot of cuticle oil for my peel off base so I think that's what um, that's why I struggled a little bit with the air bubbles by the cuticle area but I was really really happy with how they are looking they look really really natural and I like the little bit of transparency that they have by the tip now it's time to paint these nails i'm grabbing my nude um, gel polish you guys know this is my favorite nude polish especially if i'm going to be doing nail art and i'm applying um, i went ahead and applied two coats of this and i cured in my lamp for about 60 seconds And this is how they looked after the two coats. Look at how nice they look, you guys. So they almost look like natural nails. Like not bad at all. Um, I'm going to be going in now with the nail art. And I'm using this burnt orange gel color. Um, I really, really liked this. And uh, I didn't really have a reference picture this time. I just felt like doing some line work using the, um, the burnt orange color. And I basically just did some loops and squiggles and throughout the nails just making sure that they connect to each other. And when I was done with that, I went ahead and cured in my lamp. So after I was done with that, I'm taking my pure white gel color and I'm applying a drop and then I'm mixing that in to make the shade a little bit lighter and then I'm going right back into the nails again and applying another line on top of that making sure that it is not overlapping but it's just sitting right on top of each other and I went ahead and did that for the rest of my nails and cured it in my lamp for 60 seconds. Now I'm grabbing my white gel again and I'm applying yet another drop and then I'm mixing it in and then I'm lightening it up again. I'm sure you guys get the, the technique now and I'm going ahead and lining and adding another line again making sure that they are not touching but just sitting on top of each other. Went ahead and did the exact same for the rest of my nails and I cured it in my lamp for 60 seconds.
Now for the final line, I decided to just use the pure white on its own and I went ahead and lined my nails and once I was done with that, I did exactly the same for all my nails and then I cured in the lamp for 60 seconds. Um, do I recommend you do the technique I'm doing now? No, I do not. Um, I'm also not going to do a wear test, you guys. Please don't ask me to do a wear test. I popped these off immediately when I was done with filming, but I was really, really happy with how they turned out. Um, after I was done with everything else, I went ahead and applied some matte top coat of camera. And this is the final look, you guys. They just look so cute and I really like the uh, the orange, it's giving a nice retro vibe. Now to finish these nails off, you guys know how I like to crispen up my shape and I'm grabbing my hand file and I'm going to go on all my nails just to crispen up the edges and smoothen out any misshaping that the nail art might have caused on the nails. And once I was done with that, I'm going ahead and I'm applying my cuticle oil as the final step and making sure that my cuticles are nice and moisturized. This is the final look. How cool do these nails look? And again, this was just a fun little um, video that I wanted to do for you guys. And I hope you really, really like it. Again, I'll leave a link in the description box um, if you are interested in getting these. But we've reached the end of the video. And I just wanted to say thank you so much, you guys, for always leaving such amazing comments and being such great viewers and such great subscribers. I really, really do appreciate you guys. Please do me a huge favor and click the like button so that this video reaches more people. I'm definitely gonna be back with another video soon. I hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are. Bye guys.